Do you know what video games need right now in 2020? A musical. I'm not talking about a musical based on a video game, though I'd love to see a lavish Broadway production of Tetris from Lin-Manuel Miranda, but a video game that also happens to be a musical. I guess you might count music-based games like Parappa the Rapper and Space Channel 5 as musicals in the non-traditional sense, but I want a songbook. I want an epic tale of adventure and daring do told using rhyme and musical themes. And that's where Songs for a Hero comes in. Developed by Brazil-based studio Dumativa Games, studio, the game is modeled after classic console platformers with a fun and silly twist. The player character sings his way throughout the entire adventure. Wholesome to its very core, Songs for a Hero is a musical epic that's unerringly charming. It's a classic time-honored tale. The princess is in danger and only a knight in shining armor can come to the rescue. As that night, you'll explore a colorful world filled with all kinds of creatures and monsters that stand in the way of your path to victory. The land that the knight inhabits contains all of the traditional gaming locations that this genre has long since popularized. You'll battle giant snakes in ruined castles, fight angry monkeys in lush forests whose canopies block out the sun, engage hungry bats and angry spiders throughout smoldering smoke-filled caverns marked by lava spouts, and try to stay warm atop snowy mountains. Basically, any environment ever featured in a platformer from 30 years ago has found its way in Songs for a Hero, and there's something comforting and nostalgic about going back to these all-too-familiar places. Resembling a side-scroller, levels have you jump over bottomless pits, spiky outcrops, moving platforms, and other precarious obstacles to reach the end of the level. Each stage is composed of three smaller levels plus a boss encounter and can be replayed at any time. Doing so lets you hunt down any of the game's primary collectibles you might have missed the first time through, like music notes and special emblems that grant extra lives when you collect three of them. While most of these items are found in plain sight, others are tucked away in hidden alcoves that can only be reached after gaining power-ups later in the game that help you bypass larger pitfalls, taller cliffs, and new secret paths. There are also even secret bosses to find. Replaying stages is also a great way to grind for enough gold to purchase health and magic upgrades from the village shops, considering their prices are fairly high. Potions can also be purchased that have special effects, like increasing the character's defense, regenerate health, and boost attack power. I didn't really need these items because the game isn't that hard, but given the amount of coin that's left behind fallen foes, it's nice to have something to spend it on. At face value, Songs for a Hero doesn't seem all that different from any modern retro game that works overtime to capture nostalgia in a bottle. Looking like it would fit right at home on the Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo, the game has all the trappings of an indie retro game. The visuals are entirely pixel-based, but they've been used to paint a very beautiful portrait of a fantasy realm. Many of the bosses look amazing too, rendered in a level of detail that befits these big bad creatures. Later areas in the game do a fantastic job of using pixels to create depth and animation, and the lighting and glow effects used during the darker stages are really fantastic. The devs really know how to use modern technology to make these older visuals really dazzle and shine. The only bummer with the graphics is that some of the art assets are too good, namely spike pits and traps that blend in far too well with the rest of the environment, which makes for a, whoa, I didn't see that, now my health is down moment. What really sets this game apart from other indie platformers is the ingenious direction of the soundtrack. Songs for a Hero is a full-blown musical in which the knight sings everything that the player has him do. And it's mostly dynamic too. The character will sing as he's running and jumping, but will switch it up to sing about the monsters he fights, the special power-ups he collects, and sizing up boss monsters before battle. The knight is the only one singing though, which is a shame because I really would have loved to hear the bosses sing their own tunes during their encounters. The songs that he sings are catchy and themed around the type of world you're playing through. The jungle stage is more rhythmic, the underground levels use a lot of minor notes, and the desert stages have a Middle Eastern flair. And should the music worm its way into your ear, the developers have made the soundtrack available both in its native language and in English for the international release. Must keep pushing on, never hesitate. All these stupid bats and traps will never steer me from my fate. Time is off the essence. If I don't jump at the very right time, I might not ever reach the other side. I'm a little confused now, can tell the truth from a lie. Everything just changed when I blink my eyes. 
as I go on with my journey, I notice something strange. I didn't expect the colors of the sky to suddenly change. I keep pressing forward through the change of scenery, but they still have snakes out here, I see. Running can get really challenging when you do it while deep diving. As I go up the stairs, I suddenly see a chest with something inside. I look at it filled with glee. Now the chest is open wide There's a magic scroll in there With an answer to my prayers Now I can dash through the air I'll be able to explore Places I couldn't reach before This is too much to ignore But enough with the small talk I can't waste time anymore Maybe let's rock! It thrills me that video game music has evolved into an art form over the years. No longer just background music to the action, modern games like Cuphead and Ape Out have found ways to make music just as integral to a game as a jump button or a weapon system. Songs for a Hero soundtrack is charming, funny, and entertaining in ways I never expected. It frequently calls out tropes and the inherent silliness of video games from yesteryear without falling victim to the too common trap of, I'm going to add this outdated mechanic that no one likes and make a joke about how nobody likes it. With its endless charm, solid gameplay, and beautiful display, Songs for a Hero is a fun platformer throwback that I couldn't put down, falling into that familiar time sync state that is so often heralded by the phrase, just one more level. Dark Station gives Songs for a Hero four and a half stars.